Rosaria is an incredible hybrid support sub DPS character and is going to be absolutely superb going forward when it comes to supporting certain physical carries. Stick around to find out why. What is up everyone? It is Lost in the World with a Rosaria guide. Oh yeah. So I've seen a lot of different things about Rosaria and people kind of basically skewing towards the DPS and it seems to happen a lot with new characters where a new character comes out and everybody wants them to be a DPS. Now this guide isn't going to be like a lot of the other guides you will see because I don't believe she is especially incredible as a physical DPS or necessarily as a cryo DPS. Well, kind of. Where she actually excels is going to be as a sub cryo DPS stroke support. It's like a little hybrid role that I think is going to be really handy in, I don't know, let's say approximately about six weeks time, if you catch my drift. So I'm going to talk about my build and why I think my build is not only really good now, especially in a Hu Tao support role, but also with Xing Cho and also with any possible future cryo physical DPS characters that may or may not be coming to the game. So let me talk through the build. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time on this guide by going through a bunch of irrelevant stuff to pad out the content. It's going to be very straightforward. We're focusing on the key concepts of this build. There's energy regeneration, getting your Q on the field as much as possible so you can freeze and melt with Hu Tao and just get absolutely free damage at all times. It really is easy mode and it makes a lot of the harder content in the game very trivial. So let's talk about the sets first, the artifacts. Now I've gone for four piece Blizzard straight up. The one thing I would say here is the two piece is really important. The four piece may be less so unless you get Constellation 4 of Rosaria. I haven't got Constellation 4 yet. I will be pulling for Constellation 4 before she comes off banner. And now this really does change kind of the way she plays. At the moment though, as you'll see in a minute, she still is absolutely sensational at energy regeneration. And that's because I'm running a Refinement 5 for Vonius Lance. Now, Refinement 4, Refinement 3, they work as well. It'll just change your rotation timing slightly. You just need to keep an eye on the gap you have. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Looking at our constellations, really, the first one's not really relevant for this build. The second one really is relevant for this build. Extra four seconds on that queue is massive. And again, as I said, this really will take this build up into the stratosphere. I'm hoping to be able to get a constellation very soon. But as I said, even without this, this is a really strong build, okay? We're going to focus on the E and the Q. I got the three off the E off the constellation, so you can ignore the difference. I did do a level six of everything. In the future, I will be leveling that up, actually, uh, to level eight. What's the focus of this team build, then? Well, we've got Hu Tao here. We've got Xing Cho there. I'm going to run without Diona, just to show you, you don't necessarily need an extra cryo. Now, if I did get the fourth constellation, which is... This constellation here, I would be tempted to run a Diana just for the extra crit rate from the Elemental Resonance. However, I'm going to show you this build now without a second Cryo character and just with Rosaria. I'm going to just show you on floor 12 1 of Spiral Abyss how insane this build is. I'm running the health buff here, and what we're going to do is we're not even going to use Zongli Shield, we're just going to use Rosaria, Hu Tao, and Xing Zhou. Let's go. Now watch for her recharge on the ult. And this gives you just enough time to use Zing Cho. Then use Zing Cho in the middle. And you switch back to her. She's got her E back up. And her ult is back up. And we're good to go again. This Q is back up. Go into the E. There we go, guys. I'm going to run that again for you and we're going to break down what it is that happens here. So, you've got Xing Cho. Hu Tao's E cooldown is 11 seconds. Rosaria's E cooldown is 6 seconds with the Favonius prop being 6 seconds. And Xing Cho's cooldown is 21 seconds. So really, you've got a, about a 3 or 4 second downtime between the Xing Cho cooldown, the Hu Tao cooldown, the Rosaria cooldown. But that's filled by Hu Tao doing damage or it could be filled by your third character, which we didn't even use in that example. We're going to go again, and we're not going to use Zongli again, and we're just going to show Rosaria and how she works in this team. Yahoo! 
I'm just gonna wait for them to come in here so we can bring them in. Okay, they've both been hit with cryo, so let's go. We're gonna go get some uh, orbs back here. As you can see, it's refilled. And now we're back again. We're back in business. Obviously, I'm taking it slower here so you guys can actually watch, but as you can see, again, very, very strong. That cryo is applying with the freeze. Nothing's moving. I'm just getting to do free damage, and it's done. Though, I think in isolation, her cryo application is nothing incredible. Though, if you're constantly having Qs going down, her cryo application becomes very good because it's always there. It's always on tap with her ease as well. She's always applying cryo when you mix all that in. There's never a moment where there is not cryo on the enemy. Now, with someone like Hu Tao, where you do have that gap of the cooldown, when you switch to Hu Tao, it just works really, really well. Um, I don't know how to explain it any better than the examples I'm giving you in the gameplay footage that you're seeing here. We'll just show it again. So we're going to have the Q. Now, sometimes you've got to be careful because Hu Tao does push them out with the charge attack. So you're just going to have to be careful about where they end up, but... Let's get... There's the Cryoprox, okay. Let's get the orbs back for Rosaria. Now we've got time to do Zing Cho's Ease, which is perfectly timed for Rosaria's second Q. Uh, e, sorry, second E. Her Q's back. And we're good to go again, guys. And that is a really strong damage rotation for her. And in this... I know this isn't massively free-to-play friendly. However... It's also not massively whale territory either. I mean, this, by the way, is completely possible with a C2 Rosaria, which is well within people's grasps, I feel. With a bit of luck. Obviously, Zing Cho has been available a lot. It's been available for a while. People have got Hu Tao. Hopefully, can make this build work for them. Now, that doesn't mean that she's not good in other builds or other teams. But in this particular situation, it just gives you an example and maybe as a springboard for your own ideas but what you can do with Rosaria. It's a very short guide, very quick one, because I think a lot of people just instantly, when they get a new character, talk about DPSs. What we're saying here is that she might be a great hybrid role, especially in the future, for a certain physical Playmore user. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. That has been my super sharp, super quick Rosaria guide. I hope it really shows you some potential that she has with some weapons that most people are not talking about. Take care.